This will be a demonstration of a vertical mattress suture. You want to use a vertical mattress suture when you want to close a deep layer and a shallow layer at the same time. Skin edges are well approximated to start with. So I'm going to enter at a 90 degree angle. You can see that I'm going deep on this side of the wound the same depth on the opposite side of the wound and coming out the same distance as my entry on the first side. Then I'm going to load the needle backhanded and this time I'm going to go shallow with the stitch so you can see that I'm coming out just below the skin there. And I'm going to do the same thing on the other side, directly across from it. Again, the same depth from the edge of the wound. I'm going to throw two loops around. back the other direction, one toward me, one back. Just like the simple interrupter, we want our stitches to be equal distance apart. So deep, come out directly across, put my needle around and load it backhanded. And I'm going to go half that distance. I'm going to come out shallow, just below the skin. And you can see as I pull that tighter, it everts the edges a little bit. And by evert, I mean it turns them out toward each other rather having a overlapping edge, which can sometimes happen in a simple stitch. Should have some music. more here. Entering at 90 degrees, deep. I'm going to reload that backhand. Half the distance. I'm going to come out just sub Q for my shallow stitch. see as the suture gets bigger the knots have an easier time slipping. I don't know if you can see that these knots look a little bit loose. They're coming down as square knots because I'm alternating my throws. However, because the suture is larger you might need to put a few more throws in there because proline and nylon tend to slip. 